to the 21st, the special police were not operating in sector south beyond their remit. It is difficult to conjure a vision of command more divorced from realities and challenges of combat leadership. This discussion it completely ignores the chain of command and merely equates Marcotte's position as being an impetus for culpability. In essence, the argument both in the brief and during oral argument is that a unit of the special police went into Grubri on August 25, 1995 in a mop-up operation and following Markach's orders, murdered five civilians. Markach knew that the Luchko unit was involved. He knew that some or all of its members committed murder and he didn't punish them for it. He then covered it up and he knew it all by 5 o'clock in the evening on August 25th, 1995. That's the prosecution's view. That's the simple view. In my opinion, that's the warp view. The completely wrong view, which leads to conclusions justified by unsubstantiated assumptions. Justice is supposed to be blind, but this method of argument by the OTP is an attempt to circumvent justice. Mark Gotch is presumed to have criminal culpability through conclusory statements without an analysis of the evidence as applied to the law. Prosecution has argued throughout this case that internal, the internal control department is a means of discipline for the special police. It's wrong. For Yanich's trial testimony 6199-200, discusses that they did intelligence analysis and security assessments, among other things. General Markach can act on information that's only as good as the source. A source for his information are his subordinates. To be blunt, if he's being lied to, misled, misinformed, deber deliberately or due to the competence or human failings of others, he cannot be blamed for passing on information that he gets from those who were either on the ground, asked to look into the matter, or who didn't have the guts to tell the truth back in 1995. The multiple investigations undertaken by the Croatian State Attorney's Office in Gruber, one in 2001 by Mr. Jelko Shkan, and the second one, which is still ongoing, by Mlad and Bajic, right as the Mark's defense was in the middle of its case in chief, have done nothing to clarify what happened there, but significantly have not produced any evidence that at the time of the events, General Markach knew that members of the special police committed murder of civilians on August 25, 1995. Zhganyar said that he found no evidence in 2001 that General Markach had done anything to cover up the events in Grubery, nor that he either influenced anyone else during the relevant time period. If he had, he would have been obligated to pursue charges. That's what he said himself at transcript reference 11609-11. The prosecution talks a lot about P505, the alleged Markach reply to the Elizabeth Wren inquiry in Grubery. The prosecutor states in, in its brief that Zhganyar found P505 to be, quote, authentic, end quote. That's not the whole story. The OTP has not told you what it did not cite in footnote 1689 that was discussed in transcript reference 11617, 11619. That being Zhganyar's testimony that he did not know P505 never came to Minister Yarnyak or left the Ministry of Interior to go to Ms. Wren until it was raised in cross-examination by my colleague, Mr. Mikulicic. Quote, had I been aware of the information at the time, I would have called into question what I thought, end quote. He was presented with D909 and D910, a memo which had requested the registration 
history logbook to determine whether or not the letter was actually drafted or sent. P505 uses the, used by the OTP as, quote, evidence of a cover-up is weak. It is unsigned, has no stamp, has no number. But what better person to ask if P505 was a response to her inquiries than Ms. Wren herself? The Office of the Prosecutor brought her here to testify, but failed to adduce any evidence that she ever received it. I want to address the climate of impunity argument. The Office of the Prosecutor discusses that General Mikach's alleged knowledge of crimes committed in Gruberi on August 25th, prior to Luchko unit going to Ramya on August 26th, was evidence of, quote, impunity and failure to punish. This is a false argument. It is a straw man. I will tell you why. It simply wasn't possible. The August 26th Freedom Train Security Operation in the vicinity of Ramyane was set up prior to the Plavno operation via orders of August 23rd, which are D563 and D739. The Luchko unit alone was uh, set up to operate to provide security for the Freedom Train. It was to handle, as we've heard, the most sensitive part of the rail line. Now, P190 is a map. I'm not going to pull it up, but Ramyane is past Kneen on the way to Split. Gruberi is 40 to 45 minutes north of Kneen. So we can keep in mind on the map where those locations are. Kneen in between Gruberi to the north, Ramyane to the south. Now, the notch, so-called, that has been imputed to the by the OTP to General Markach, that Luchko itself was a unit that was through Gruberi on the 25th and had committed crimes there, assumes that Luchko was the only special police unit to take part in MOP operations on the 25th in the Plavno Valley. Well, there were almost 600 members of the special police participating in this operation. Not one was testified, not one that it was known to General Marka, his subordinates, the fundamental police of Kneen, or any of the internationals on August 25th, on or before uh, the Freedom Train operation on August 26th, that Luko specifically was the unit that went through Gruby on the 25th. Luchko was one of six units of 580 special police members involved on August 25th in Plavno where Gruberi was located. These, these units were the Sisak Moslavic, Zagreb, Brod Posavina, Fleet Dalmatia, Luchko, and Osik Baranya. When Markac was told late on the 25th that something happened in Gruberi, what evidence exists that first he knew where Gruberi was, or second he knew that it was the Luchko unit? None. No one identified the unit, nor is there any evidence that General Markach knew which unit went through Gruberi on the evening of August 25th. As far as Markach knew, the reports from the field from all six units were that nothing happened. And that's essentially what P-755 says. The word Gruberi appears nowhere in P-575. This is the first report General Markach sends to the main staff. We must focus on General Markov's state of mind on August 25th when he's told something happened in Gruberi. This wasn't the Gruberi mop-up operation. This was the Plavno mop-up operation. I'm going to private session for a moment, please, Your Honors. We move into a private session.